Okay, our next evaluator is Andy. Andy, my buddy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I always remember the first time when I met her. It was an outing last year, and we just happened sitting in the same car. And during the whole trip, we just couldn't stop talking and laughing. Well, it was so crazy. And, and it was also very impressive how we could just meet each other and get along so well, right? OK, and I would like to mention that Andy is the queen of fashion in our club. You never see her wear the same clothes twice. <laughs> So I just enjoy her dressing style, it's so stylish, and I wonder if she got a gigantic warehouse to store all her clothes. <laughs> okay. I asked Andy the same question, what is the ideal relationship between you and your better half? She defined this into five points as follow, listen carefully. <laughs> first one, well what is the first one? <laughs> yeah. There are five. Uh, and five, five points. They should have the similar life goal, and then they need to accept, adjust for each other. And then the third one, they should have the stimulating, uh, sorry, intellectual stimulating. And the fourth, they should be should feel comfortable and feel beloved and heartwarming with each other. The last one, not the least, keep the spark alive. So, if you fit these five points, please contact me after this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to give us evaluation to Rosie's C6 speech. Let's welcome Andy. I really took seriously about Charlotte's question. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rosie, congratulations that you finished your six six speech. I'm really proud for you, and I really like your topic choosing. And the most part I like your speech is that you brought us a lot of laughter tonight. I think after a long, hard-working day, we all need some laughter to cheer us up, to relax. And also, I like your attitude. Look at you had a really good dress tonight in high heels. <laughs> and as I arrived earlier to set a computer, these are the points that I admired. And let's talk about C6 pitch. And C6 is about vocal variety, so which means that you need to use uh, your voice violin, pitch, or rate, or pause to add the meaning to your speech or attract audience and I think achieve well in uh, adding pause and appropriate rates. This part is really good. But I also need to give you some adjust suggestions for the future improvement. So the first one, I suggest you that you can, uh, I think you can uh, speak louder because your voice balance is a little bit small because I said I sit there and I sit there and you stand here. So sometimes I still have some difficulty to hear you. <laughs> so probably you can practice to speak louder. And the second one is that uh, in the speech today, you you should stand here and stood here. And probably is not a good way to show your body language because you hide behind this table and I think this is the pity and probably because you use the visual ads and I, I think you really remember it well so probably you can stand more in the body, in the podium like in the center and use your body language and volume so probably it will be better and the third one is that I, I like your topic picking tonight because it's stand-up comedy, right? So usually they just use a chair and talk some topic specific. But um, I think the pity part is that your conclusion is too quick. You, you, uh, I think you just mentioned that how many days left until Trump going to be the real president. But probably you can um, say something or conclude it uh, in a better way to let the audience remember your main topic or to to like let us know you're going to end your speech. So looking forward to your next speech. 